Hello and welcome to this Construct 3 demonstration where I will show you how to implement a Sobokan type, type of game where you can push around uh, boxes like this. So you go around and you go and push around the box until the box hits an obstacle. Um, how, is, how is this done? Let's see. Uh, let's look into the code how this is done and it's actually you will see it's pretty straightforward and you can use a lot of the built-in functionality of Construct 3. But first let's take a look at the layout here. Um, and there are uh, three important things for me to mention here in this layout. Uh, first of all there's the boxes. And boxes you can see here uh, they have two behaviors. One is tile movement behavior that makes sure that they can be moved inside those individual tiles you can see on the layout. Uh, the grid width and the grid height are set to 32 pixels which um, is exactly the size of a tile. Um, and next to that there is the solid behavior which is important. Um, by default the boxes are solid um, unless the player pushes them. Why is that? For example, if I go and push this box against this box, they shouldn't go and overlap. So this box should be uh, held back by this uh, right box, so the left box does not go and overlap the right box. And that's why everything has been given the solid behavior. Then we can see that there is a tile map, a solid tile map here um, on uh, the canvas. Uh, so all of these blocks here which are part of these uh, um, tile map will be effectively uh, solid. So once uh, something is solid it can't be pushed any further. That's the essence of this. Um, so that's the way uh, the behaviors work on the boxes. Um, and then there's the player. Here you can see the player and it's called player mask. Um, and this has a pin behavior and a scroll to behavior and that's important because why does it have pin because it is pinned into a pin box which is uh, the the box uh, after it uh, in the index um, and uh, it's also having a tile movement so um, it's actually the tile uh, um, the tile of the player box which is uh, being moved around and as the player is pinned to it it goes along to it so what happens is also grid movement um, that the uh, grid width and grid height 32 and that's it so that's important to hear um, so how do we get that thing moving and how do we get it to push boxes well if we go and look into the code there's a lot of code here first uh, to make uh, this uh, player move. So uh, on timer idle you can see that the animation is set to idle and then uh, the direction of uh, the player um, because you can see here that there are some movements uh, animations idle down, idle up and then walk. Um, so that's all handled in this upper part. Um, which is not too difficult, it's standard behavior. Uh, you can see here, uh, if, the, if it's moving left, then it should be using, this is setting the direction to left. Direction is an instance variable, you can see that here. Um, and if it's idle, it will set the animation to idle and the direction which has been set here. So it just remembers the last direction it was moving in. Uh, basically, that's it. So that's not the essence of, of what I'm explaining to you here. The essence is, is actually within this little grouping in the uh, in the game. So what we're doing is th this event this should come first. We restore the solid state for the box that arrived to the destination tile. So as you remember, the box has got the solid state. But because you have to be able to move a box around, it should not be solid at the same time. So what happens is the solid behavior is being enabled and disabled at runtime. So for every non-moving box, uh, the box 
uh, subtle behavior is enabled. That's what it says here. So whenever the time moved is not moving, it's an inversion here, uh, we set the subtle behavior to enabled. Um, so if uh, the player is not moving around or has arrived at its destination, so it's uh, not moving around, but the right arrow key is down, then we will simulate the player box. So that's the box where the player is attached to. Uh, we will simulate a right movement for that. And then we will check if there is a box to the right, and this box can be moved to a further right, meaning that there's no walls or solid boxes, we will disable the solid for this box to allow the player to move the tile with this box and then move the box itself to the right. So uh, we check if the solid is enabled. Okay, uh, then we'll go, um, if there, the player box is overlapping a box at offset 160, which means 16 pixels to the right. Um, and the box we're talking about here can move, one, can move one to the right. And that's what I told you. It's uh, a lot of things here are built into Construct 3 because you can check using an action of the tile movement if a certain object can be moved one tile to the right. You don't have to check it yourself. It's, a, it's a, an action built into Construct 3. So what we'll do then with that box is set the solid behavior to disable so we can move the, 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 the box around and we will actually simulate the tile movement pressing right here. And the essence of the thing is, it's the same thing for every direction. So here we do else, of course, else if the uh, left uh, mouse, uh, if the left key Board button is down rather then we will uh, do exactly the same but here is the little difference we will check if there is an overlapping box at the left hand side so 16 pixels to the left of the player box same thing for the Y 16 pixels to the bottom and 16 pixel pixels to the top and all of these things work in the same way so the next time the game loop uh, loops um, it will restart from here and it will re-enable all of the uh, solid uh, behaviors of the boxes that aren't moving anymore and were moved in the last uh, the last um, loop of the game. So they're not moving anymore. So that's it. Very simple. Um, I hope you liked it. As always, please like and subscribe and I will leave a link in the description where you can get the free template for this. See you next time.